All right, in this video, I want to do an example of actually uh, determining whether sort of a, a more complicated uh, product of trig functions uh, is going to be even, odd, or neither. So remember, we gave this definition of even and odd. Um, and I've made a little handy dandy uh, kind of reference guide for me, uh, kind of listing, you know, basically plugging in negative x and whether you get the negative of the original or just the original, and that tells us if they're even or odd. So uh, I'm going to, you know, kind of refer to this, and this is what we just justified in the other video. So suppose we want to figure out if secant x times tangent x, whether that's even, odd, or neither. Well, okay, we're just going to use our definition and say we'll have to look at f of negative x. Well, that's going to give us secant of negative x times tangent of negative x. But if you remember, in terms of these being even, odd, or neither, um, we said that secant of negative x is really, we can replace that with just secant x. All right, I'll do that. And it says tangent of negative x. It says we can replace tangent of negative x with just the negative of tangent of x. Well, okay, uh, things, everything's just being multiplied. You can pull the negative back out front. So we have negative secant x times tangent of x. Well, uh, the very original function was secant x times tangent x. So really, we have the negative of that function. So we started with, uh, you know, so we plugged in f of negative x. We got out negative f of x. And again, in terms of our definitions, it says if you get f of negative x, uh, if you start with that and get out negative f of x, we would say that function is odd. So it turns out that if you graph um, secant x times tangent x, that's going to be an odd function. And again, that just means when you graph it, it's going to be symmetric about the origin.